them a little smoke in the door. This coney is pretty nice, but just for fun. Not too much, just three or four shots in the door. While I'm letting them soak up some honey, I'm going to get my alcohol gel and clean off my hive tool again. If you get in the habit of doing this, that's going to help. You know, you don't have to remember every time if it's a habit. kind of want to see how well these guys are doing. They're eating holes in my in my burlap, which isn't great, but it's okay. And look at all this propolis on the inside of the burlap. Propolis is so good for them. I just love the fact that they make it, make lots of it there and, and like help surround themselves by propolis. Again, I'm taking out the first one so that I'll have plenty of room. I know the queen's probably not going to be on the first one. This is a medium frame in a deep high body, which is perfectly fine. You see the bees can handle whatever comes their way. See this pattern on top? Here's the queen right here. Probably. So they're giving me the look. See the bees coming up here? They're giving me the look all over the place. It makes it a little hard to know exactly where the queen is, but I'm still go I'm still guessing right there. So I'm gonna go right to there. This is a nice looking colony for this time of year. Um, this is what April 10th or so. I made myself plenty of room. Pull that up out of there. We've got kind of a spotty, not terrible, but not great brood pattern. If you can't see well, you can always blow the bees out of the way and then you can see much better. Then we'll check the other side. Same thing. Now, see this is foundationless and I'm doing something you should never do. You can see that there's no foundation. And in foundationless, you should really never hold it this way. You should always keep it this way because the, the comb can fall out. So, I don't think I'm gonna find eggs in there because of all that calf brood. So I'm gonna move on a little bit because my goal, remember, is to find out if we have a queen and if she's laying. Capped brood tells us that we had one nine days ago. Blow the bees out of the way, get the sun over my shoulder, and try to see down in there. I really don't, oh, I see little larva. So I don't have my glasses on. If you have glasses, you should have them on. And let me set this down. Okay, so see this worker bee right here? See her size? And then look at this guy. See how round he is and those great big eyes? That is a drone. Queens are long and pointy, not blunt and fat like that. And I've got a couple of adult drones in here. That is really exciting. And so I still haven't seen eggs, but I do see tiny larvae down in there. And that's really all we need to know, that we have a queen, at least we had one four days ago, that is good enough for me. So we're gonna put this back. And now I still don't know if I, how much food we have in here. So I'm gonna go yet further back. I'm not gonna take out every frame on the way because you don't need to do that. I'm gonna go a bit further back here. And I can see down in there, I wouldn't even have to pull this out, that it is honey. And it's heavy. There's a nice 10 pound frame of honey. Look at that beautiful cat's honey. And I can see that there's at least two of those. There's at least three of them. That's plenty. So now we're gonna push everything back together. Uh, see, I push them kind of slow so that the queen should happen to be where these shoulders meet. She has plenty of time to get out of the way. Push it all back so that everything's nice and tight. Put our extra frame back. See, I'm standing in front of the door. You should never do that. <laughs> this is how not to expect a colony. Put our frame back. 
We're gonna put our roof back. And put the lid back, and that's it.